What is up, YouTube family? Today, I'm bringing you back another subscriber first ho uh, wholesale video. We're not going to talk about his first wholesale deal. We're going to talk about his most recent deal that he just closed for $47,500 all the way from California. So please help me welcome Eric. Also, too, so if you enjoy this video, boom, smash that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, new to the family, welcome on board. Be sure to Boom, smash that subscribe button. And if you recently closed your first wholesale deal, here's what I need you to do. I need you to shoot me a text at 1-206-208-0676. Show me the proof. Show me that money. Love to bring you on for an interview. So, Eric, dude, what is up, man? What's up, Kang? Dude, thank you so much for taking time to jump on here with your boy, King Kong, man. Yes, sir. I appreciate you, Kang, for having me in the center view. Dude, absolutely. Um, so Eric, man, um, just a little background about like kind of who you are, man. You look pretty young. Um, I, well, so love to kind of know where you're at and and, and uh, what you're currently doing and and how you got into uh the whole wholesaling game, man. Yeah, so actually, right now I'm 18. I actually turned 18 two days ago. I really oh. was in July 12th. When, oh. when I got my kids, I was 17 actually. C congrats, bro. Thank you, man. Thank you, Ken. Happy late birthday, right? Thank you. Yep, absolutely, man. So, so now, Eric, you closed mm -hmm. this deal before you actually even turned 18. Yeah, I was 17. Okay, so tell us how that's possible, dude. All right, so basically how it started, I was watching videos before on TikTok and, you know, those social media videos? I was watching you and other guys. Sure. So I actually got, I, re I, re I did some research on wholesaling. I went to the internet, YouTube, I watched some videos. And after I found this guy called Leo, I sent Leo a message. He's a wholesaler here in California. And I asked him to join his company because he has a company here in Anaheim. Mm. So I, I told him like, hey, I want to join your company. I'm really interested in wholesaling and I want to make that change, you know? I want to make that change sure. in my life. I was actually in high school at that moment. I had like four months left and I actually dropped out. He told me, yeah, you're in, bro. And I actually just that same day, I was like, yeah, I'm going to drop out. And I actually did it. Wow. So that wow. same week, next Monday, I was here in the office. I work every day from morning to night, man. I'm here every day from 8. To probably around 8, 8 p.m. So it's probably like 12, 14 hours. I don't even count the hours, man. Because right now I'm in a mission to, to get rich, you know? <laughs> to make the money. <laughs> Eric, bro. Man, dude. You remind me of me so much, man. Freaking straight up hustle. Straight up grind. Focus on getting that money. You don't care what time it is. Dude, Any the money don't sleep. So the hustle don't stop, baby. Yes, sir. <laughs> Freaking respect, dude. Okay. Man, so how does it feel, you know, dropping out? I mean, your parents, like, what's... Yeah, my parents weren't okay with that. I mean, my stepdad, we don't have a really good relationship. He didn't really care. But my mom, she was like, you got to go to school. My mom's actually in Mexico, and I'm Latino. So oh, okay. people are like, you got to go to school. You got to get a degree. So I was like, yeah. no, I want to do this, you know? And she didn't believe in me. But she was actually, she wasn't in the house at that time. She was on a trip. So she wasn't telling me nothing. And actually, okay. I had to drive every day one hour, one hour to go there to the office and one hour to come back. So and actually that first day, my first day going to the office, I never been on a freeway. I was like 17. I really got my car at that time. I was just driving to school and I was like, I took the risk, you know, like it was a, a challenge for me But I'm proud of it. I'm proud that I took the challenge and I had faith and I, uh, I just went all the way in. The first few months, it was hard because I wasn't getting no traction. I was really bad at the phones. I didn't know how to talk to people. I was stuttering. I was getting stuck. I was hanging up on people when I didn't know what to say. But just with time, I improved, you know? I just stay consistent, disciplined. And I, always, I, I was always learning, watching videos, uh, learning from my mentors here. It was just a, an adventure, man. Bro. It was definitely worth it. Bro, I, dude, I got to say, man, a freaking huge respect for you, bro. You freaking took the risk, dude. So how did it feel? When you like decided you're gonna drop out, was it scary? To be honest, it was it was a little bit scary at first, but after I started like learning about entrepreneurship, about mindset, about what it takes to to actually make to make a change in your life for the positive. So after I just got like here in this place where I'm at, it's not just about real estate. It's about uh, learning about growing yourself, developing yourself, and it, it actually felt good because I wasn't surrounded by people with. Uh, I want to say, like, with small dreams, you know, people that are afraid to go after the dreams. I was surrounded with the right people. Love it, man. And it's what put me too. Dude, man, I love it. So, 
for a lot of you, if you want to make the changes, and sometimes your friends, your family, your surrounding, the people that you're hanging out with is actually mm -hmm. holding you back, and it keeps exactly. you in your comfort zone. Um, So I actually just make a post today, man, and I actually did a tweet. I said, dude, if you want to make big boy money, if you want to make big bony, man, start surrounding yourself with freaking doer, like action exactly. taker. Stop wasting Go your time it. with the stop wasting your time with the BS talker. Everybody can talk a can talk a big game, but dude, when you surround yourself with doer, they don't have time to talk, man. <laughs> yep. Oh, awesome. Every day, man. No Love wasting it, dude. time. Love it. So, Eric, man, let's break down your first that forty-seven deal, man. Forty-seven thousand, dude. That's bro. That's that's a life-changing deal. So I know you're working for the company. So obviously you don't get to keep the full 40,500 bucks, right? Mm -hmm. So out of that, man, how much uh, did you get to keep? That one, I got 10,000. Okay. So you get 10 G's out of it. Not bad, dude. That's, he that's hella good. Yeah. I got my, my, my first 10K month as a 70 year old. That's, that's your first month. Yeah. No, no, like, no, no. That one, I got it three months after I joined. But it was my first 10K month, like five figure month as a 70 year old. Dude. And it's just life changing. Like, after you make that first check, you get inspired to, to do more. Hell yeah. Dude, that's like 3,000 bucks a month, dude. So take you three months, dude, that's like over $3,000 a month. Dude, when mm. I was 18, dude, I was making $8.50 an hour. So you are way ahead of the game, player. <laughs> so, Eric, can you hear me, man? It seems like you, you, you're, you're freezing up a little bit, man. Oh, Thanks. shoot. Eric, you kind of froze, dude. Okay. So, Eric, let's break down the yeah. 47,000 deal, man. So how do you, so first off, dude, how do you found the seller? You got the, uh, dude. So, so what do you do with the 10? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. I saw, I saw the Louis Vuitton in the back, dude. What do you do with the 10K, dude? <laughs> oh, no, as far as the Louis Vuitton, man, it was a gift for my birthday, for my mentor. Like, okay, yeah, cool. just a gift, man. Like, I don't cool, actually cool, buy cool. like this. Cool. At, at this point, I'm saying my money, I want to get to credit finance deals. That's what of I want to do. Of course. Good for you, man. Good for you. Okay. So how do you found, so how do you found the seller, dude? So that seller was actually a lead that was there in Podio. And he was a random person. I just called him. I actually, I, I tried to call those people before in the past. They didn't answer. I called them a second time, like uh, one week after they didn't answer. Then the next week I call them and they answer, you know, that person. Wait, 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 hold on, Eric. So how, so this, this seller was just kind of in your, your podio lead. Like, it, it, yeah, it was a okay. random person. Okay. So it's just some random person that your mentor, your, the company that you're part of, they have already accumulated so much of these seller already in the database. And you're just pounding yeah. the phone and calling all the people that, you guys have not obviously closed yet, right? Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay, keep yep. going. Okay. Yeah, so keep I going. called him. And I asked him if they were interested in cash offer. The person said, yeah, I actually been thinking of selling. I mean, she didn't like, straight up ask, uh, say it. But you have to ask those those questions to get the motivation level. But basically, she wanted to sell the property because she had a business. And she didn't have time for that property. And her asking price was, at first, 300000 I made an offer of 270000 the ARV was like 450. So at that price, um, the 300,000 worked. But I tried to get her a little bit lower. I mean, an offer was 270, but she didn't really want to go down. down. So, but I got her at 290. And that deal so far uh, was 347, 500. No, it was, yeah. Yeah, I think it was 347, 500, something like that. Okay. So you chat with her, got her, uh, got her going from three hundred, and then you guys agree on two hundred ninety thousand. Yeah, two ninety. Yeah. But you. as far as that, like, uh, if I if I was to make my offer first, I it, it would probably be in higher. So it's always good to ask their price first to get yeah. that price because you never know if it may it may be like a low price that you were gonna offer more. Yep. So that's a good yep. tip. Uh, dude, absolutely, man. And uh, I mean. Everybody that's in the negotiating, that in the sales game, understand that whoever mentioned the number first loses because when you mention a number first, you could be the one that's dropping the higher number. Now, exactly. what I like about what Eric did was even though he knows that he can make 300K work, but obviously he doesn't come in and say, hey, I'll take the 300,000. Dude, this guy's a negotiator. 
he came in and freaking started at 270, baby. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> and then, okay, you, so you came to and you came in and, and got under contract for two ninety. Now, how do you mm -hmm. found? Now, how do you found the buyer? The buyer actually went into the position side because the company we do acquisitions and decisions. I do acquisitions. Okay. Yep. So, so it was someone else that sold the deal. To the oh, someone the else had. sold the deal. Okay, so yeah, you you basically locked the property on the contract, and then the, your uh the disposition is the one that uh sold the deal. Yes. Now, did you know how they found the buyer? Yeah, I think it was on Facebook groups probably, or probably a buyer from the, the list they have. It's a big company. Gotcha. We do a lot of photo deals every month. Got it. Got gotcha. you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's pretty much where, where it's yes. where the buy came in at. Listen, for those of you who are watching this and, and you think that, oh, if I just find a deal that I can, it, it will automatically sell itself. Oh, dude, no. Until, yeah, un unless you have, unless you have a sell. big, yeah, unless you have like a big database of cash buyer, but once, dude, getting a prop and a contract is just like, I would say six, 60 or 70% of the battle, but you still got to battle the other half, but man, like yeah, you exactly. still got to hustle. You still got to find um the buyer. The thing is that here's something that you got to understand that um a lot of times where if you get a property under contract for major discount, it's a no brainer, right? But there are deals where you can actually make it work. You just have to hustle a little bit harder to actually find some retail buyer um, that can actually uh, get the deal done for you. So, um, okay. So, Eric, dude, so how how many deals have you done already, dude? Right now, so far, I have like five deals, but a couple of deals had to get dropped just yeah, because of the situation. It's like, like you said, like just sure. after you get the deal, that's the first step. Now you have to sell the deal. And especially yep. right now with this market, it's a little bit harder to to find a buyer. You have to get them cheaper now with this market. Heck yeah! And you gotta hustle a little bit harder for those of yes, you, sir. like especially like for those of you who's an agent. Um, back then, you know, basically once you list the property, you don't have to do anything. Like you don't have to do any work. The property sells itself because the market is so hot. But the market is changing. So for those of you, for those of you who's an agent. Or even a wholesaler, like you don't go, like you know, you don't go and you don't network and you start building relationship, dude. This market is gonna wipe like a lot of realtor out just because exactly. they're too lazy. They they they, yep. they 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 haven't been in the grind and building relationship uh with people. Yep. So the only people Eric, that are gonna survive is strong people, the go getters, hustlers. <laughs> man, I think uh you know as an immigrant, man, just like you, we're speaking the same language, man. Like uh, this. This world of business is not for the snowflake. It's really not for yep. the soft tier people, man. You got to have thick skin. You got to have a work ethic. And you just freaking got to hustle and grind like no other will if you want to make it to the top. Exactly. <laughs> so, Eric, man, so how so how much have you made already, man? Right now in this company, to be honest, it, uh, that deal I got was the only one that has uh, been sold. Because I got a couple of other deals. But they had to get dropped. Some of them were land deals. Those ones right. are not too good to sell. You you have to get them at a really discounted price to sell them. Another right. one, I got a property. Uh, I want to say four forty. Airview was six twenty five, but it was here in the desert in California. It was a pretty got good it. spread. But then so because of the market, like investors mm. were afraid at that time. But when, when the market was changing, but 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 that deal was supposed to sell, but for some reason it didn't because of how the market is. I got you. I got you, bro. Okay. So, um, listen, for those of you who are looking to um, build up your cash buyer list, um, check this out. I, I have a link below. I partner up with. So, okay. So, recently, I team up with Investor Lift. For those of you who don't know who Investor Lift is, I'll leave, the, um, I, I'll leave my link with them right below. But they have over 2 million cash buyer um, lists nationwide. And I partner up with them. So, for those of you who want to take advantage and sign up, they're going to give you 5,000 cash buyer completely for free. Okay. Now they are pricey. Don't get me wrong. They're pricey, but do they work and have qualified, um, they have qualified buyers. So Eric, I, I, I don't know if your company uh, used them or not, man, but uh, I just recently used them for the last three to four months. And mm -hmm. instead of making, um, we just closed on a deal. Instead of making 15,000, we end up making 25,000, $10,000 extra because of their buyer's cash buyer database, because they got some retail cash buyer that's willing to pay retail uh, price in there, like an asset, but retail value, man. Mm -hmm. um, so for those of you who- I want to speak with the company about it. Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah, dude, dude, yeah. 
And um, so now, um, Eric, man, what are some tips, some feedback that you can give to, you know, people, you know, basically young entrepreneur like you, go-getter, 18, 19, 20s, um, and they want to go after it, man. So for people who want to start, like, you got to have that mental toughness in the beginning. Everything starts with the mind and taking action, taking the first step is the next step. First, you got you to you put that commitment in your head that you're going to do it. And there's only one plan A. Like, there's no plan B, plan C. You just got to go the way in. Like, you got to go in. You can't waste time. And you got to stay disciplined and consistent, especially. So you just, after you put in your mind that you want to do it, you take the first step. You find a mentor. You can do YouTube videos. And really, it depends on your situation. But really, the best way is to find people that are actually doing it and to learn from them. But if you, for some reason, you can't find those people. Uh, you just go on YouTube, watch Kang, uh, people like that. Like, especially Kang, he's pretty good at, <laughs> at negotiations and stuff. I really like you, Kang, a lot, man. I used to watch your videos a lot before. But yeah, Dude, man. Like, you have to be committed. Yeah, that's, bro. That's hey, man. Main stuff. Got you, dude. Hey, bro. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for the kind word. Um, if we're here, man, obviously, uh, would love to get uh, w- uh, work together. Um, but yeah, I mean, I agree with, uh, you know, what, what Eric said. If you're hungry, man, find somebody, find a mentor, find a coach. I think getting into the game start surrounding yourself with doer people that are in the game that are actually doing it dude i promise you your your level of energy and your experience like you know because that's what you're kind of lacking right now is you lack of experience and the knowledge once you have that i'm sure now eric can go out and basically do this on his own if you if he wanted to or even just within the next six months continue doing what he do or a year whatever it is right and now listen not every one of us wants to go and start our own business maybe Maybe you join a company that's already and you're making, you know, 10, 20,000 a month and you're happy with that. That's cool. Like there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but, you know, as a hung as a young, young hustler starting out, um, you know, I, I think Eric took an absolute an amazing route. And it's definitely something I would do if I were to start all over again is finding some mentor, a company I can go and freaking work for and start learning the in and the outs, know everything, building that connection, the relationship, man. And boom, just basically, you know, and a lot of you, what you're doing is, and I see this happen all the time, is you're stepping over dollars for pennies, which mean you worry about getting paid a thousand, two thousand, and you're missing out on opportunities to make a hundred thousand, a million dollars because you worry about getting paid now instead of getting, getting that knowledge and experience to make money later. The skills exactly. So, yeah. And dude, I see this over and over again. Like, People always worry about that. But a lot of times you got to understand, you know, when you're young, what you got is you got time. You need to plant the seeds, right? Build those relationships mm. and those connections. Because honestly, maybe you don't make money in two years. Or maybe you're just making minimum money in two years. But dude, listen to me. It only takes one good year where you can make all your money back. And let me tell you what I mean. So obviously starting out from 18... All the way until I was 27. Dude, just last year, I made more in one year than all of my year could ever combine. Like you can combine all wow. of my previous year and I made more last year. We did, I think we did over 4 million last year. Wow, this and, is some big numbers, man. <laughs> well, you know, well, it depends on who you ask because I have friends that, that makes that in a month. <laughs> so mm-hmm. it depends on like, obviously like who you ask, but like, for for me, and that's not and that's not wholesaling. That's wholesaling, personal brand. Um, wholesaling we did about I think a little over two million, right? But that's personal brand and other business that I have built over time. But once again, what I'm telling you is maybe you don't have a good one or two year. It's okay. Maybe those one or two years for you to build relationship, for you to plant the seeds, for you to build those those connections, and then boom, awesome one year, boom, you just made so much money. That it didn't even matter what you did or the losses that you have lost the last previous year. You know, because I get people, man, Eric, dwelling on what they have lost six months ago, especially with crypto, stocks, right? People are losing money left and right. Mm -hmm. But once again, it only takes one good wholesale deal, one good year, one good month for you to make it all back. So don't dwell on what already happened, man. Focus on what can be done right now. Eric. You're freezing up, man. Sorry, Ken. Everything you said, man, is, is fine. <laughs> Love it, dude. Is it better now? I, 
What's yeah, yeah. You you're definitely good now, man. So, um, Eric. Oh, okay. I lost Eric. So, um, for those of you listen, if you're starting out and if you're still lost, confused, clarity. A lot of time, clarity is what you're missing. Like you don't know what to do, where where, where to go. Um, here's what I suggest you do. All right, I created this free training. It's a 15 minute long. Go to wtmclass.com. For those of you who's new into the game, go to wtmclass.com. It's a free training that I created for you. And uh, just just go watch it, check it out, where I break down the entire process of what wholesaling is and how you can actually get started. And hopefully from this free training, it can help you close your first wholesale within the next 30 to 60 days. If you enjoy this video, I lost Eric. So if you enjoy this video, please show your boy King Kong some love. And my guest, Eric, boom, smash that thumbs up. You're new to the channel once again. Boom, smash that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on the bell notification. But until next time, you guys, take care and ciao. Lost Eric, man.